what's going on youtube all right i want to show you guys what i did in my camper um i have a bunkhouse jayco eagle ht and we ripped out the bunk bed on top and we kind of opened it up so i see a lot of people they buy bunk beds and then they realize that they don't really want that bunk they didn't really use it as maybe as much as they were or maybe their kids are outgrown it or whatever and in our case um our kids just kind of quit going with us camping so we don't really need it and we have dogs and we're trying to make a spot for our dogs so check out what i did all right so we ripped out the bunk i'm gonna try to find some pictures and uh or something that i could show you guys what it originally looked like but this is what it looks like now So this was some shelves and they were actually turned the other way and I flipped them over and we put these little, they're like little mirrors. I don't know if you can see that. We also bought some edging that we're gonna put right here. It has like some dog bones and stuff. You can see it's kind of damaged down here a little bit from where the screws came out, but I'm gonna kind of just clean that up a little bit and put some, put some bones, but um, my wife i think ordered a sheet too with some dog bones on it or some kind of design but right now it just has that sheet and then they got the blankets and they got their bucket of toys and that's it check out the video on uh, on kind of how i did it and uh let me know what you guys think all right guys so right now we are trying to take off this top bunk and i figured i might start recording to show you guys instead of just showing you the after um the after work but um so what I did so far is I took this piece off and this is uh, the piece that went around that and it had one, two, three, four, five screws in it. Uh, just fill up screws. I just popped these off with a flat tip screwdriver and uh, unscrewed that and it came right off. So my options here were to start unpopping all of these little staples out. I imagine they just had a staple gun and boom, 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 shot it. Or pop this one off. I figure if I pop this off and it's ugly underneath, I'd rather have that and it's still stable when I put this piece back on if I don't feel like doing it. My goal is to get as much done uh, without getting to the point of no return until I know that it's gonna happen. But um, so when I did pop these off, I noticed that there was screws in there right around here that uh, I can get to to take off the top. So right now, this is where I am. This trim came off, the mattress came off, I put it on the bottom, and now I'm starting to pop this bottom piece off. So stick around, see uh, how it turns out. All right, so I'm popping off the edges right through here. There's a bunch of staples that are, that go up here. As you can see, they're all hanging up. And I'm just popping them off. And it looks like this little shelf has a separate sheet right here. It looks like they're, it's split right here, which is awesome. Because if it comes off right here, that shelf is still gonna have its piece up there, which is amazing. So anyways, right now I'm just gonna reach in there and try to pry this side off and see if I can back it out. And we'll see where we are. Okay, so I got this piece down off of here. Right now I'm laying under the bunk area and there's screws along the side here and i'm pretty sure there's going to be screws in here i'm probably going to have to take that off um it's separated really nicely i think it was already cut but um either way i think it's gonna have to come off but right now i'm going to unscrew these i just got these four done and uh i'm going to get these ones and try to lift it up we'll see uh how easy that is to do there's also screws down here that disconnect to the shelf that you can't see, but. All right, so I'm I got at. that shelf out. The shelf that was there, it looks like that one. And as you can see, it's like, it's like a front panel and there's a back panel, but um, there was screws um, underneath it along the wall. And then there was a couple screws on this wall and on that wall. And then the padded part had three screws, one in the middle and then two on the sides. And I just unscrewed those and it came up in uh, so one a One thing pieces. I did was I realized that this platform goes all the way over, starts to go into that, into the little cubbies over here. So I had to screw in another screw and put another one back over there. 
in hopes that I'm going to be able to take this off. Like, I'm going to jump up here and try to take that off as good best as I can. I weigh 200 pounds, so we'll see if this thing doesn't collapse on me. Okay, so I got the bunk off. And I'm happy because it's still finished underneath. There's going to be little holes which I can fix really easily. Um, make them look good. One thing I should have done was remove this top section okay so it's been a day and i have gotten a majority of it all done and this is what i have underneath everything so there was a piece of wood on the top of this that connected to the whole uh, base of the top bunk uh, i had to cut it right here with a little saw to get to get the bunk off and the bunk kind of came right out. The bunk is screwed to the wall right here. And it's screwed to the wall right here. You see that dark line right there. And you can probably see some little cutouts of the moldings. Well, I have more molding. This is just another piece that came off. I'm going to end up using this to patch up some of the work. But this is kind of right above the outside kitchen. There's the power outlets and uh, the cable hookup for the TV. I'm gonna leave this wood here because it's all screwed really well to another frame outside. I mean, to some framing. So I'm gonna leave that there. I just like the, the sturdiness of it. And I'll show you right now what I'm gonna do. All right, you guys. So this little shelf fits back over this piece perfectly. Um, so we're gonna, have, like I said, we're gonna have a little shelf right here. So we can, you know, put some stuff if we want to put some stuff. Uh, and <clears throat> this piece was used from, I cannot remember what piece it was, but I will uh, try to let y'all know. But this came off, one of the pieces that came off, I just screwed it, I put screws behind these little post areas. And this is what it looks like underneath, if you guys want to know, there's the, just some connectors. Hopefully you guys can see it, but this is just for the upside uh, the up the top of the kitchen outside Fits up there perfectly. I'm gonna put some screws right here I'll probably put one right here put one right here and then the buttons that came off of This thing The little buttons that came off of this now this was the piece that wrapped around the bunk so I'm gonna reuse those buttons right here to hold down the bottom piece. I'll probably put a button right there, a button in the middle, and a button on the end. And then this is mainly for our dogs. We're gonna use this for like our dog area to sleep at night. So we'll probably put something funny there like dog house or, I don't know, I don't know. But either way, it's gonna be, uh, it's coming out nice. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Nothing under there that I removed uh, was anything structural, like for the walls or the roof or anything. Now, you have a box that has no support in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this piece made it stronger back here when you're driving and when you're moving and when the wind's hitting it, but I don't think it's gonna affect it uh, very much to the point of, and I'm no engineer, guys, I'm a truck driver and uh you know i'm no engineer i'm no builder but i don't think it's going to affect it in any way that's going to damage it but i'll keep my eyes on it and i'm prepared to fix whatever uh comes along with it but this is it we'll see you guys in a little bit